This is a short video on how to present the results of a scientific investigation in the data section of a lab report. This video assumes that you've already done the investigation that, and that you've made a graph in a graphing program like Logger Pro. Um, it also assumes that you've figured out how to get the graph from uh, Logger Pro into a word processor like Microsoft Word. If you don't know how to do that, you can look on the internet. Um, for example, uh, search for like a, how to do a screenshot in whatever operating system you're using. I'm using uh, Apple OS X, um, but you might be using Windows and you might use something called the snipping tool. It depends, but you should be able to figure out how to do that by looking around on the internet. Um, but once you figure that out and you have the actual picture of the graph um, in your um, uh, document here, um, it's time to start creating the data section. Um, it's very important that every everything that's not like a paragraph um, in your lab report, whether it's a picture or a graph or a data table, needs what's called a figure number. This is very important so that you can reference the um, what it is, like reference the graph or reference the picture in other places in um, your lab report. For example, you might want to talk about this graph in your conclusion and you should be able to say, as you can see in figure one, like blah blah blah, um, this is a figure number that will let you refer to it and it should be accompanied by a short description. For example, this graph shows a linear relationship between the amount of fertilizer added to a sample of pond water and the amount of algae that grows. Um, the point of this short description is to give your reader something to clarify what this actually is. Um, so you want to include a little bit of detail. It doesn't have to be long, but what one or two sentences is good. You could even include something like uh, the data points are quite variable, but the relationship is still clear. Um, and I like to make this bold because I think it, it looks nicer. Um, but your goal here is to explain whatever it is, if it's a graph um, in your data section or even a picture in your procedure section, so that it's clear to who, whoever's reading your report um, what's there. Um, the other thing you, you always need to include in your data section is a data table. Um, one really easy way to do that is to go back into Logger Pro and get it here. If you're going to do that, um, you can... Um, you, sh you should make sure that the columns are showing the full words of um, what you've included here. Remember, you can include the name um, and the units as well as a short name of whichever var variable you measured. Um, if these columns are too small, then what should say algae growth turns into an A or what should say fertilizer turns into an F. And that's, we, w we really would like to have all of this information and the units exactly correct. Um, so when you get this right, you can uh, take a screenshot again. Um, in, in this operating system, it's a program called Grab, and I could grab this, um, and then I go to the Microsoft Word program and I, I paste it in there. Um, so then I, I, that's how I got the graph in there too, but you may need to figure out a different way um, on your operating system. Um, this data table also needs a figure number. So I'm going to call this figure 2, and I'm going to give it a short description. Um, so this might say, this data table shows the data collected during the experiment. Um, f I don't know, five different amounts of fertilizer were used and three trials were done for each amount. Um, if you get some, um, you, if you get some funny formatting issues here, um, you can, you should make sure that it's easy to read it all. Um, you can even play with the formatting in Microsoft Word so that it fits together nicely. Um, 
it's really important that these um, don't get separated from each other. That is like the the caption and the figure number um, or the description and the figure number go, don't get separated from the data table or the graph itself. For example, if this was to be later on on the page, then the graph might show up later on a second page and this would show up by itself, which would be very confusing to the person reading it. So try to make sure when you put this together, um, do what you have to do to make sure that when you print it out or when you, when you uh, email it or whatever you're going to do, um, that all these things are in exactly the right spot and they're easy to, easy to find from each other. Um, remember, your goal here is to make something that is really useful for whoever's reading your report um, and to be as clear as possible. That's the point of having a figure number so that you can say later on, as you can see in figure one, the data is quite variable. Or as you can see in figure two, we did three trials for each um, amount of fertilizer or whatever. Um, so hopefully this is helpful for putting together the, da the data section. and. Um, Good luck writing your report.